Welcome to part 3 of the uh, How to Make a Website in Dreamweaver using CSS video tutorial series brought to you by Let's Build a Website. Um, so yeah, in the last video I showed you how to finish off all of your div tags and get started on adding some images as well as a background image for your uh, navigation bar area. And in this video or uh, part I'm going to show you how to finish off your website by adding a background um, text your navigation bar and some content which really is not difficult at all you can probably figure that out by yourself anyway okay so we're going to go into Dreamweaver I'm going to select on it uh, I'm going to add some text now for our navigation bar so we'll add some links we'll do actually first before we do that we're going to go to page properties and we're going to go to links and the link color you can change the link color whatever you want I'm going to do white for all of mine and then never underline hit OK OK now we can start adding our text so we'll do home about downloads and contact as you can see it's not going horizontal but it will be soon so we're just going to select all of these turn them into an unordered list by clicking right here easy now we're just going to make these all be links index.html about.html dls.html and contact.html okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to select the bottom we'll just click at the bottom of your links select this li tag right here we're going to go over to new CSS rule and we're going to hit OK. Next what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the list on our tab list over here. We're going to select none. And as you can see when we hit apply that gets rid of that little dot next to it. It's really annoying and it looks kind of stupid. So now we're going to go to box and we're going to float them to the left which is going to make all of our text go to the right. Yes, very simple. We're going to select block and I'm going to select block makes blocks okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a margin so we're going to uncheck same for all um, I want these to be let's see 20 pixels apart maybe uh, I'll do 25 pixels apart and let's see how far do I want them from the top but I'll try 14 pixels uh, 15 15 pixels looks good okay so there we go actually I'll make one from the left too like 5 pixels uh, I'll just do 15 because that's what I started with okay there we go that's what I want my uh, navigation bar to look like looks pretty good although I think that I might have to lower that a bit but whatever whatever for now anyway we finished our navigation bar we can preview this in the browser. Yes, and if changes. And uh, actually, yeah, it should be moved down a bit. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to. Now we're just going to add a background image. Page properties. Select a background image. This, this isn't necessary, but I'm going to do it. And uh, we're going to repeat this one in the X. And then, when we preview this in the browser, you're going to notice that it covers the whole thing and it looks kind of stupid. It doesn't look like we want it to, because we want white in this background area. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to select our wrapper tag, and we're going to, where's my wrapper? Double click on our wrapper tag, and we're going to go to background, color, and we're just going to select white then we're going to file save that and let's preview that in the browser again and there we go it's all white looks good and now we can just finish it off you know we can align our website a bit I'll do 20 percent I think is going to be good control save that yeah 20 percent looks good it's in the middle um, and now we can just add our content 
let's see, what do I want to add? We want, what was the picture that I was using? Latest video, I think. Let's click OK. Yeah, it was that one. And then I had a content bar, I think it was, that I was using. Yeah. And finally, my side content bar. And you can always name these. I'm just not going to because it takes too much time. And there, you're done your website. You can finish it off by adding some text and fast typer. Add some more over here. Maybe add a space. File, save that. And there it is, your finished website. Um, you can also, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to select that wrapper again and go down to box, I'm going to add a margin. Well, either margin or pattern will work. I'm going to add 30 pixels. Control save. Uh, refresh. Oops. Actually, I should have done a margin. My bad, guys wrapper we want this to be 30 pixels on the top but not same for all alright file save there we go that's the right one but uh, yeah guys that's how you make your website very simple got through it with very few errors I'm sorry for that last one um, of course you can always make your website look better than this one as I didn't do too much as you can see everything's a little unaligned but you get the point of it uh... yeah so thanks for watching subscribe like this video leave a comment whatever thanks for watching